The Star Trek production and Star Trek fan film news you need to know now. The actor strike ended since the last breakdown a couple of weeks ago, so it's worth a quick mention. After 118 days, the television studios in America and the SAG after a union agreed to meet somewhere well north of what those studios wanted to offer. It came 42 days after the Writers Guild agreed to their new deal. Now the mad scramble is on for shows to get publicity airtime, either in retrospect to their seasons just gone or forthcoming. Thankfully too, it means the US television season does have a beginning, although we need to wait until February. And we have heard that the Section 31 movie with Michelle Yeoh is slated to begin production late January and continue through to mid-March. Looking forward to that one. There's just 29 days to go until the best of 2023 list is unveiled by MTM and myself. And as the days are winding down, the anticipation is going up. I'm sure there'll be plenty said about our choices, but for the third time in 18 months, MTM and I will prove that we're not doing, we're not, we are doing our own thing. We're not doing what others want. Now, while many eyes were on Thanksgiving and Black Friday, Potemkin Pictures proudly released their new fan film, Honour and Treachery. Written by Liz Knoll and directed by Randy Landers, the Klingons make their long-awaited return in this fan film, with Larry Fleming back as Captain LeCat. There's action aplenty in this one and some intrigues as well. Don't miss it. Catch it in the, uh, with the link in the description below. From next level is the fan film Shore Leave. It comes in at just over two minutes in length, which puts it in the best short fan film category in the 2024 awards. Once again, the link in the description below. Speaking of the 2024 awards, we're going ahead with them. Once again, we'll choose our nominees and our winners. And once again, no editorial interference will be welcomed or allowed. Now, something that caught my eye recently, the quality of Star Wars fan films. Star Trek fan films are great, but Wars just kind of takes it up that next level. And whether that's because Wars was always bigger and bolder on the big screen, allowing more creativity, never really relying on standing sets to get the story told, uh, that television budget wasn't in the way. I'm not sure, but that's a theory postulated amongst my group of friends. Find some and check them out. At least you won't have to wait 30 days. And finally, it's December 2023. Where has the year gone? Seems like just yesterday I was based in Melbourne for Trexone Media and bringing you this brand new virtual studio. Trexone has slowed down a little this year as our production company takes flight and things get crazy busy every now and then, but it's not going anywhere. Quality over quantity is the new motto. So get in on the ground floor. Membership on YouTube is available for early release and sneak peeks. More of them more often in the new year, I promise. But our social feeds aren't going anywhere, and Trexo Media's now on TikTok. This is, the, uh, this is our 20th year to the world, and while others may try to put the channel down, I've been here since before them, and I'll be here after them as well. Over 1,100 episodes prove that. This is the Trexo Breakdown, no cult following required.